Hello everybody and welcome back to another spunky video. Today I will be showing you guys around the new Capuchin remake. So let me first tell you the main differences. Number one, uh, the locomotion. The locomotion is actually different from Gorilla Tag. Well, slightly. You are now bouncier. Like, you may not notice it when I'm just moving around, but if I just jump and go like this, you are bouncier. Some people won't like this movement, but after a bit, you get used to it. It's a nice fresh air after like playing Gorilla Tag, how smooth that is and how bouncy the capuchins are. The entire stump is different. There's a lot of fish game posters everywhere. There's three monitors. One main, one for the time, and one for logs. And there's currently two tabs, color and name. Colors is uh, generic, you just change your color, but now instead of just picking a normal color, it actually randomizes your color every time. So whenever you join the game, there's a spawn in the tutorial up there where the waterfall is, and then you get to learn how to, uh, the new mechanics, climbing and such. Speaking of tutorial and climbing, you can now climb on certain objects, not everything, certain objects. All you gotta do is just rip onto them, like this, and you'll be uh, stuck to them. There's now two ways to get to the second layer of forest, one with a rope and the other with a tree. If you're not experienced with climbing, then you can just do the tree. The sky is more quality, the waterfall is more, uh, waterfall is better, and we have a new shop. Dotbus decided to combine three maps all together. Sandland, forest, and shop. They're all combined into one map. This is the area where you actually buy your cosmetics. This area where you buy all of them. He already owned this. So this is where, this is the main, like, buying area. And then the main shop area is actually where you equip cosmetics. This is where you equi equip stuff. Enable. Well, I can't enable it since I'm offline right now. I'll show you guys later though. There's umbrellas. So it's, it's a weird box right here. I don't know what the freak that box does. It's really hard to see underwater, like in real life. Glad to know this game is really realistic. First map I actually want to show you is Zero Gravity, which looks super cool. Every map has been revamped to look super good in comparison to the old ones, like Zero Gravity and the old version babies the new one for men you're like first off you notice how it's not colorful like the old one it's just like really like more like bluish then you look up and you notice the glass ceiling and you're like hey it's nighttime why is it nighttime but then you look and you see capuchin world so yeah uh, this map is has is taking place in space and this is probably lore, since this looks like an alien planet. So Capuchin, maybe the Capuchin might take place on an alien planet. A little bit of lore. Next map I have to show you is space. This is actually the most unique map in this game. We we got this cool little rover. It's pretty cool. So yeah, zero. It's like a low gravity type area. Like a low gravity type area instead of zero gravity. While you just like spin around, you can see all the glorious. You can see space. This also implies capuchins do not need oxygen. It took me a minute to find it. It doesn't take too long, it just takes a bit longer than I'd like it to. Not a big deal. Once a few updates in the beta go by, I'm gonna make another video. But I'm just I'm just gonna feed you guys with other videos uh, before then. But I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, and I hope you guys are excited for the future of Capuchin. So thank you guys for watching. Stay spunky and subscribe to. Whoa.